Hi, I'm Sherry, and you're watching The Eyes Have It. Today I'm doing my five favorite eyeshadow palettes. I'm not including the little single pots, I'm only doing the palettes today. And I have a range from high end to drugstore. I don't have a whole lot of high end yet, um, just kind of getting into that. So most of what I have is drugstore. And so I'm going to start on the high end. I'm not going to swatch everything because I think you've these are pretty common palettes. I think you've probably seen them swatched elsewhere. I'm going to start with the Kat Von D. Um, I just got this maybe a month or so ago, but um, it's really quickly becoming a fave. So it's got a beautiful kind of mid-range purple here, a real nice ivory a um, sort of a taupey color, real dark charcoal. I think it's supposed to be bluish, but it's very dark charcoal. More of a beige, tan, um, a brick red brown sort of color, and then this really cool orangish color that um, Emily on Beauty Broadcast had uh, raved about, and, and which is why a lot of us ended up buying this palette. Uh, it also comes with a brown eyeliner brush and um, it's a really sharp looking palette um, very artsy on the front as would be with Kat Von D um, I will say though in terms of travel this is a very heavy palette so that one probably won't be going when I'm traveling soon going with me the next one has just become a super super fave of mine I've probably had it about maybe six months or so and I did use it a whole lot in the beginning, and then I just got really into it, and I absolutely adore it. And that is the Balm Jovi, uh, the Balms, the Balm Jovi Rockstar Palette. And one of the greatest things about this is it just comes like all in one. It's got so many great eyeshadows. The thing that makes it especially versatile is it has <clears throat> three rows of shadows. A row of sparkly shadows, a row of matte shadows, and a row of shimmer shadows. So you can kind of, you know, mix and match for whatever day it is and you don't want sparkle, you can have matte. So it's a really versatile palette that way. comes with a nice mirror and <clears throat> comes with this highlighter, which I really love. It's, um, I'm told that it's basically the same as the uh, Mary Luminizer from the balm, but in here it's called a Disco Disco. And then there's a blush over here, and then there are two gel lip products that I'm told can also be used as cheek products, though I have not tried that myself. Um, and it all snaps together with a nice, nice little magnet catch, so it's nice and secure, and it also comes with an outer sleeve. Um, and I will tell you today, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a little bit of everything. Um, my the the lid color is from the new um, Sephora Painted Desert collection that I got, or Painted Sunset, or something like that. And then the navy that I'm wearing on the outside is the Stroke. It's fairly dark. And then um, in my crease, and uh, the in the Stroke is uh, one of the shimmer colors but I don't notice the shimmer as much on that color as I do with some of the others like Third Eye Blinded is quite shimmery and then on my, in my crease I'm wearing Allegro and that's a nice sort of tan topish color and it doesn't look that dark in uh, in the palette but you know I wasn't sure whether I wanted to use this or the darker color from my crease and I was actually really pleased with using Allegro for my crease and then um, so only my um, my crease color and my outer third color came from here the brow bone color came from the new Sephora little individual pot that I got and the like I said the lid color came from um, the new Sephora collection that I just recently got and um, I don't usually wear this color on my eyelid. I just figured since I was wearing sort of a colorful shirt that I would give it a try. All right, so moving down into drugstore now. 
I'm going to go with, I have two of these Alme Intense Eye Color Palettes. This one is uh, Smoky for Hazels. It's number 403. And uh, this was my go-to palette for a long time. It starts with a sparkly charcoal. Goes into sort of a pale silvery mauve for the crease. And then the brow bone color is this really intense white. Personally, I don't find this, this mauve color to be adequate for crease color. Um, but they, it's, it's a nice color. I just don't necessarily use it as a crease color. Um, but it is a nice palette. These are real nice and silky. It is maybe a little more sparkly than, than I would prefer. But um, real, like I said, for a long time, this was my go-to palette before I started investing in some other. And then my other um, Alme Intense Eye Color is the 424, which is a trio for greens. This is um, something that I picked up, oh gosh, maybe just a couple of months ago, and I just fell in love with it. Um, it is... Um, sort of a tan, a deep tan uh, for the lid, a, um, a brownish green for the crease, and a really pretty uh, creamy color for the uh, brown bone. And I'll just swatch these if I can find a clean finger here. Okay, and these are so soft and velvety. Okay, so this is the, the lid color. This color I find so interesting because it looks green, and it, then when you put it on, it's not so green. But it's a it's a deep greenish um, brown, I guess you would say, and um, it's not like a Kelly green. It's more towards an olive green, and then the brow bone color is really pretty. It's pale, but it's pretty. It's just a pale little um, beigey color and a cream sort of color really really like that and my last one is a Revlon now this is an old workhorse here this I've had this for I don't know how long and you know how they say you should you know recycle throw out your makeup and stuff you know I'm terrible about that because when I find something I really like I stick with it and when I want to wear a brown eye or neutral eye um, this is my go-to palette and so this is a Revlon color stay. I don't even know to be honest with you if they still make this. But this is the Revlon Color Stay 12 hour eyeshadow and number 2 coffee bean. And it's a quad. Comes with two um, applicators and the one and the thing that I like about these quads, I have several of these, um, is that it comes with one pointy uh, for your crease and then one uh, that's still got a slight point on it but um, a little bit broader for your eyelid color and so it starts out with a, um, a very deep brown then it goes into a little bit more of a golden brown then it goes into what I would call something like maybe a, a fawn or a suede and then into a similar brow bone color that was in the Alme, which is just a light um, beige or uh, almost a pale, pale, pale gold. Um, really nice uh, for neutral eyes. And so what I'm wearing today, I think I told you all of the things that I'm wearing. The only thing I didn't tell you is that I am wearing, I just got a Sephora.com haul, a second one in August. I can't control myself all of a sudden. And, but I'm going to wait to do that, I think, until I get my Ulta.com um, box that should be coming in a couple of days. So I think I'll just do the Sephora and the Ulta haul all together. But part of what I got in there is I got an Urban Decay liner in, um, I don't remember the color, the name of the color, but it's like um, an intense blue. It's not necessarily all the way to a navy blue, 
because uh, I already have that in another brand, but it is um, a really nice blue. And I did that in my waterline, and I also tight lined with that. And um, so that was um, my first use of anything out of that Sephora box because I was kind of holding it back to uh, to do a haul video with. All right, so that is all for today, and I hope you're having a great week. Bye-bye.